close. I got, I got a children's Bible here this morning. I love this children's Bible. You know, they're, I can understand these when I read these. Children's Bibles are right on my age level. I, I used to read these all the time when I had children still in the home. And um, I always had several of these and would read these books. And I want to read you a story this morning. Come on down, dear. Join in here. Anybody else want to come on down? Son, you want to come on down? You can come on down if you want to. Okay. Well, this is about walls. You see the book right here? All the walls that they got up here? Big, tall walls. This is a city called Jericho. Jericho was a, was a bad city. Jericho was a city that... That did terrible things. And, and when God told His people, He says, I'm going to give you Jericho. I'm going to give you Jericho and I'm going to give you a whole bunch of other cities too. And when they took and they looked over there, they saw, wow, these people are strong and they're big and mighty and all of that. And, uh, you know, in our world today, we have a lot of different things going on. We have a lot of nations that, that are rattling swords, they're talking about having war and all this kind of stuff and, and shooting rockets at us and all this kind of stuff. But you know, we've got God. And as long as we have God, God will take care of us. And so what we do is we look at this story right here, the city of Jericho, and God's people were over on one side of the river, and these people were on the other side of the river. So the first thing they had to do is cross the river. And God told them, it says, no problem, just follow me. And they, the priest carried the symbol of God right across the river and the people followed. And he got up on the other side and he told him, he says, now this is how we're going to do it. You see that big wall and the people just look tiny and up on the top of people with rocks and stones and bows and arrows and um, AK-47s. And uh, they were looking down upon these people and saying, you can't come in here. We're bigger than you are and we're more powerful than you are. But you know what? The battle was fit and happening. Here's how the story goes. The people of Jericho knew that the Israelites were coming. They stayed in their houses and in, shut their doors and locked their windows. And all the while, Israel marched closer to Jericho. Here comes the people of God, Israel, the church of God. And they come and they start marching around. And God told Joshua that he was the pastor, the leader of the group. He says, now march slowly around the city one time every day. So on, on Monday they took and they marched around the city. He marched around the city. And they just marched around the city. They didn't do anything special, but just marched around the city because God told them to. And then he says, now this is, do this for six days. The people, I'm sure some of the people said, well, I don't like walking that much. I don't want to walk around the city. But Joshua told him, says, listen, God told us that we're to walk around the city for six days. And all the people in Jericho, they were looking at him saying, what are these people doing? They're crazy. They're studying their Bibles and believing that God's going to do something for them. What are they doing? But for six days, they walked around the city. And then after that, he told them, he says, now always carry in front of you the sacred thing. That was where, see right here? Always carry the, uh, the symbol of God with them. In our day, it would be carrying the Bible and all this. And... Uh, they took and they marched around the city. And when they got around the city, they would take and go back to their village. And they'd be happy. And then it says on the seventh day, Joshua, pastor got up in front of him and said, We're going to do something special today. God told us that we're to take and march around the city seven times. They said, seven times? It was a lot of work walking around the city one time. Now we've got to walk seven times? God said, yeah, walk seven times around the city. So they did. They got up and they did what God said. They walked around the city seven times. And you see them right here. They're walking. You see them? They're walking around the city. And on the sixth time, he says, now listen, we're going to do something special. When we get there the seventh time, we're going to do something very special. And they said, what are we going to do, God? And he says, on the seventh time, I want you to march around the city and blow all your horns. Make a lot of record. Yay! And they were going to shout. And uh, that God was taking care of them. So they marched around the city the seventh time. They blew the trumpets, loud noises. And and I tell you, they started shouting and all this. And you know what happens? See those big, strong walls? They started falling down. Well, how did they fall down? Because God knocked them down. God knocked them down because they obeyed God. And I want you to know, we have walls in our life too sometimes. And God will knock those walls down if we'll just obey Him. 
So they marched around the seventh time, and the walls started falling down, and then God says, now go in and run the people off and take over the city. This is your new city. And they did. It says the people circled around uh, for the last time. This is the time the priests blew their trumpets, and the people shouted up into the heavens, praise God Almighty! And they marched, and the walls of Jericho began to tremble and shake, and then the walls crumbled and they fell down, and the people ran into Jericho from every side. But they also kept the promise that they did not attack the house of the lady that had helped them when they came and spied in the land. You know, God always keeps His promise. Did you know that? He always does. Well, thank you all for sharing with me this morning the story of Jericho, the walls of Jericho. And listen, we got some candy to give you this morning. And um, this is uh, so you can remember the walls of Jericho. This is Jericho wall candy, okay? What have we got there, Miss Cindy? We got pops, blow pops this morning, okay? So let's go to uh, to Children's Church, and we'll see you later, okay? Thank you. Bye-bye now.